Hi everyone, welcome to Homeschool Autism Life. My name is Jamie. If you are coming to us new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are not, thanks for coming back and spending time with me today. This week's video, I just really wanted to do a check-in. Um, we've been in this new world order or craziness for um, a while now. It seems like months and months and months, but I think it's like closer to six eight weeks, something like that. And um, early on in the process, I was talking about how we were struggling and we we're trying to figure things out. And I feel like I'm starting to get my feet under me. And I just thought I would share the challenges and the joys of the last few weeks with homeschooling and life and whatever, in hopes that it helps you um, if you're finding yourself still struggling, trying to figure things out. Everyone is different and everyone's timing is going to be different. And like I said, it's taken me months and months, <laughs> it feels like, to get Darian in a place, um, my autistic son, in a place where he is actually learning. He was my main homeschool child. And then I was now homeschooling or co-teaching um, my girls and having that kind of up and everything for Darian and stuff like that. So it's taken a while and I'm not 100% there yet, but I definitely feel I'm on the upswing. And so I just really wanted to encourage all of those moms and dads out there who are still tr struggling to find their new normal or at least what they feel prioritized wise yeah i'm like having weird english language issues um but the things that they've already prioritized um and you're still struggling to get those things done um take heart as time goes on you will be able to figure it out if you're not and you're doing awesome great i celebrate that with you so I just thought the main thing that I would discuss is homeschool. This last month, I've really started to narrow in on what I needed to get done, what was really important, and get Darian off of learning Xbox One and 4.0, <laughs> which he absolutely loves and enjoys, um, to do more actual schoolwork. And I find it really, really... Um, interesting how that transition has happened. I think having the girls uh, actually home and doing their schoolwork, um, he's been seeing that that's just part of kid life. And I just find it interesting that their being home has actually facilitated a certain amount of less resistance. When it's just him and I, there's a lot more resistance. And the other thing that's a complete and wonderful joy is um, every time that he does something good, it's a huge sunrise celebration. Everything's great and awesome and way to go, buddy. And now the girls have been a part of that. Um, they'll go like to try and give him kisses and go, mm, and he puts his hand on <laughs> their lips, um, really just to like make them go away. But they think it's hilarious. Uh, and it's just wonderful to see their interaction and stuff around the table because they're doing their schoolwork. I'm doing work with him on the computer and it's just a wonderful thing to see. And I think he's, he's really getting buoyed by their presence in our homeschool. Things that I'm still having challenges with is getting him into the Sunrise Playroom. Um, my girls are still needing um, regular refocusing. <laughs> um, they get distracted very easily. Excuse me. They get really distracted easily. And um, I feel like my job has been really to help them understand that if they don't get their work done, then they are choosing to do it all day. <laughs> and you know, you get the eye rolls and, and whatever from my 10 year old, but at the same time, uh, I think it's, uh, they're starting to get it. Um, they're starting to understand and all of my nagging <laughs> is really paying off. They're starting to understand 
the choice equals consequence mentality of if I don't get my stuff done, I'm choosing to do this all day. Uh, that being said, I have enjoyed and loved and loved having my girls home. Yes, they fight. Yes, they carry on um, and stuff like that. But some of the lessons that we've been learning uh, have been particularly awesome and stuff that I wouldn't have necessarily had a chance to discuss with them. One of the things is we, Nara had to do a research <clears throat> about a story that she was doing and she wanted to know what the biggest mountain under the water or volcano, excuse me, under the ocean was. And she randomly picked this video and this video was all sorts of doom and gloom. We're all going to die. Um, <laughs> uh, my favorite was what if all the volcanoes in the whole world um, erupt simultaneously? And that was like, well, then we would move to Mars. Like we're already in the process because we're so close to going to Mars. Um, and but don't breathe a sigh of relief because there's an even bigger volcano on Mars, even though two minutes ago he said that the plate tectonics were dead and they weren't moving anymore. Anyway, so we had this great discussion about like really looking at information and going thinking critically about it and understanding that just because somebody says oh, panic, panic, panic um, doesn't mean that that's necessarily warranted. And I thought it was a really interesting lesson that I was teaching them at a time when the coronavirus and all of the conspiracy theories are out there and stuff like that. And I found it really really quite timely and at the same time really enjoyed that I was doing that lesson. I was teaching that lesson when it's so applicable to today. So I'm finding also co-teaching with the teachers. Um, there's positives and negatives. It's hard. It's hard because yeah, there's, there's a certain push and pull as a teacher and as a parent, and my girls are trying to navigate that, and I think it's wonderful that they have that because it does give them a window into the outside world because <laughs> we're still in quarantine, lockdown. Um, but it's just one of those things that we've been really, really enjoying, and at the same time, I'm sitting there going, I can't wait to possibly homeschool them next year. Um, it's something that we've been thinking about a little bit and I wasn't sure how it was going to work. And we're still thinking we're not for sure, for sure. But it's this whole situation has illuminated A, what I'm capable of, B, what the challenges are, and C, just, you know, what does post coronavirus look like for my kids and do I want them to live in that or do I want them to be children and enjoy being a child so that's kind of where I am I'm so thankful for the things that um, we've been doing on the side um, one of the things that we're doing today is we're a kid ninja um, is something that's been going around on our Facebook um, feeds about really putting together little surprise packages for other kids in your neighborhood, in your town, in your city. And I've just been really excited about that. It was something that really is bringing joy to my girls um, and excitement about this whole like, you know, you put the present or whatever on their doorstep knock and then you run away as fast as you can <laughs> and so we've been really enjoying that uh and it's just one of those things where if you can give back even just a little bit something you know taking that you know emotional energy and putting it into something fun as opposed to why can't I go to school and why can't I be with my friends and stuff like that has been a wonderful exercise in the girls being really excited Darian not so much he doesn't really care <laughs> but at the same time he's been doing awesome and I am so 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 thankful that even in this crazy time we are doing well 
And again, I always say this and I hope this is, you know, becoming a catchphrase, not a, oh, Jamie, you're doing it again. But <laughs> I am really hoping and praying that wherever you are in the world, that you are doing well. We're praying for you, praying that you, your family and friends stay healthy and that, yeah, um, in this time of unknowns and insecurities and all of that kind of stuff, you are finding yourself saying, I am well. So I know it's a little bit shorter, but I hope that this has been a good video that you've enjoyed it. If you have, like, thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. I do videos about homeschooling, autism, and life, sunrise program, our sunrise program, I should say, uh, and just yeah, life in general. <laughs> uh, most of them are sit down videos, but on occasion I'm able to kind of sneak dairy in in um and yeah and my girls maybe too they want to be a part of it so we might be able to do that as well but i hope you're enjoying it i hope you're doing well and we'll continue to pray that the world calms down soon in a safe manner as well thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day we will talk to you again later